One thing that I learned watching my dad die that has affected how I'm preparing to die myself is uh, that my dad had not learned to enjoy being alone. And I think that is something very important for human beings to learn to do. You don't learn to be alone, by the way, uh, simply by isolation. Mm. You learn to enjoy being alone because of what others have invested in your life, in your mind, so that you can enjoy what they've left you with even when they're not around. Mm. But in order to cultivate that kind of delight, you do have to practice being alone. So part of the reason I go to the mountains by myself uh, is I want to experience the subtle fears mm. that accompany being alone in an atmosphere that I clearly don't control. Mm. I want to subject myself to the danger of getting lost, which I do rather well. <laughs> uh, but also to feed my, my body and my mind over mm -hmm. the course of my life so that when I find myself alone, I enjoy the activity mm -hmm. of my own mind and my own body, mm -hmm. as opposed to feeling like I'm suddenly panicked because I just can't live with myself. Mm -hmm. This is something that concerns me about digital media in our time that I'm struggling with as a father, because I feel like it robs uh, people mm -hmm. of the ability to learn to enjoy being alone without mm -hmm. anything to do, without any uh, stimulation. to be silent, and without that constant yeah. stimulus. You know, I, I don't know if I will have to face a death as horrific as my dad's, mm -hmm. but I do know that um, in some respect, I will probably have to face loneliness mm -hmm. when I die. There's a, there's a characteristic of human dying. That it is something that you will do by yourself. Nobody's going to die for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have to learn over the course of my life how to face the loss of my life in a way that does not defeat me, but that I can face um, with a measure of uh, comfort at the joy of being myself to the very end. And, and that's something that I think comes with, uh, for me, it, it depends on reading. Uh, it depends mm -hmm. on a variety of practices that I can enjoy by myself. I like to <clears throat> meditate on poems, to say them out loud with nobody else in the room. Uh, and maybe most fundamentally, I, uh, mm -hmm. I have to learn to enjoy praying. Mm -hmm. to, to enjoy praying when I don't know what to pray. To sit there and to wait for words and to be able to be comfortable and to maybe even enjoy the silence when I don't know what to say. Mm. And this is where the prayers of others, especially the, the words of scripture are such a gift I found because they uh, feed um, the joy of silence because all of those silences are the echoes of words that I've learned. And in those silences, other words begin to come up mm. that become my own and bring me comfort because I'm able to know myself. Uh, so uh, that's something that I think I learned watching my dad struggle mm. at being alone. Mm. 